Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat It's so great to reconnect with you. It's so great for all of us to be connected in this evening of Shabbat, the first Shabbat of the month of Nisan. And in this Shabbat, something very important happens. Right away at the beginning of the creation of the world, we learned that time is sacred. But in this Shabbat, we are reminded that in the book of Exodus, the first day of the month of Nisan, is the beginning of the calendar year for the Jewish people. And it's also one of the most important teachings. We learn that we consecrate time together, that we celebrate time together. So in this very special Shabbat, first Shabbat of the month of Nisan, we celebrate this idea, this concept, that we as community have the power to create time, sacred spaces of time. And we will sing some of the the verses of Alel, remembering and reminding to ourselves that it is Rosh Chodesh. It's the beginning of a very special month, the month of Nisan, also the month in which we will celebrate just in a few more days, Passover. From the narrowest place in the world, I ask for your presence, O oh God, and you answer to me with divine space. In a metzar karatiya, and any bemerhaf. Yeah. Shabbat candles, I like invite Gabby Newman, our Cantoria fellow, to lead us in the blessing for the, for the candle lighting. Shanu 
God, shalom. We pray for these lights, for these candles, and we light here at TVT to go all their virtual way and to make it to the homes of all those that are connecting with us in this virtual way and to bring some of the light that we need so much in this challenging days. We keep singing some of the some of the verses that we sing as we celebrate the beginning of a new month. Psalm 150. We try to convert our entire existence into a song of praise. Kola Neshama. Bye. 
we will be posting in the pages the sing of, song of renewal to try to fresh to renew our souls in this Shabbat. We try to sing different words. We try to say different words. Shiru Ladonai, Shir Hadash. to be made holy. So they draw that holiness from the Holy Shabbat. And so too, for the festival days, it is for this reason that they are called sacred calling times, where they are all founts of holiness, which encompasses the entire year, causing holiness to flow to the one who wants to be made holy. The answer to that sacred calling Lechadodi, we are going to sing the first, the second, the fifth, the sixth, and the nine verses of Lechadodi. And in the last one, wherever you are, wherever you are sitting, we will invite you to stand up and to turn toward the door of the room where you are and to let the presence of Shabbat, the sacred call of time, enter your space. Ah, 
service in which we are trying to mix components of Alel and in the Ruach, in the spirit of Alel, trying to bring the spirit of gratitude. We are going to add something that we usually sing on Saturday morning during the verses of praise. A piece of Nishmat called Chai. Words of gratitude, of unmeasurable gratitude. Ilufino Aleshira Kayam. And we sometimes find the words to express, cannot find the words to express the depths of our gratitude. Shabbos, 
the community, the blessing in which we say that, w- that, that each of us as individuals count, count into our minyan, count into our community, and that we together have the ability to pray, have the ability to elevate our hearts and elevate each other. your eyes and try to think about something that makes you feel deeply loved. I know that most or many of us find very easy during these challenging days to close our eyes and 
but to immediately think about what's challenging us. To think about our tsures, our, our concerns. Our concerns are here and they are real. But during this moment, just for a moment, I invite you to put them aside and to think about what makes you feel deeply loved. As we get closer to the moment of the Shema, to the moment in which we exclaim our unity with God and the unity of God and the unity that we have with each other. We say that that's possible while feeling surrounded by the presence of an everlasting love. So once again, think about what makes you feel deeply loved. And breathe, just breathe. One of the things that I like about the blessing for redemption is that brings very clearly the idea of hope. Hope is not just about being positive, just you know, think positively and it will be fine. Hope is about the idea of holding a vision, 
and having the ability to make the first step to redemption. So when we come to the blessing for redemption, to Mijamoja, we come with hope. We come reminding ourselves that sometimes the world looks like the Red Sea. It looks impossible. It looks too challenging. And that the only way to deal with it, to face it, is to have the ability to envision, to see, to think, to dream of a promised land, a new, a better place. But more than that, to have the courage to make the first step. And your children witness your presence. They praise your name in gratitude. And they accepted your sovereignty. Moshe, Miriam, and all Israel sang to you together, lifting their voices. shelter and the soft, long evening shadows of your truth, for with you are true protection and safety, and in your presence are acceptance and gentle love. Watch over us as we go forth, prepare for us as we return, spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Yerushalayim and yours. Baruch
said the Hanan that more than what the people of Israel kept Shabbat, Shabbat kept the people of Israel. And on these days of physical separation, I think that we all witness, we are all experiences, experiencing the power of Shabbat, the gathering power of Shabbat, the gathering power of our tradition, the gathering power of sacred time, bringing all of us together. Beshamembru bene Israel et la aso et ashavat le lordam benito la. Beshamembru bene Israel et We now prepare for the Filata Mida. We ask for God to open our lips and then to find the ability to say words of praise. As we enter Filata Mida, this sacred moment of personal conversation with God, of personal conversation with whatever you define as the source of being. I invite you to rise, to stand up. Amida comes from the word Lamod, to stand. So if you are unable, you can rise in your spirit. But if you are physically able, please rise. And if, and if you follow the words of our traditional motto, that's good. But you also can try to find the words of your heart. I know it's difficult. You're standing in a room in your, in your, I don't know, in your dining room, in your living room, in your office, in your bedroom, wherever you are. It's difficult as you are there just to take a moment and to be silent. But this moment of sound silence is a moment of actually many words, the words of your heart, the filashe balef, the prayer of your heart. So we invite you just to take this silence and to take the opportunity for the filashe balef, for the words and the intentions and the focus that you really need during this time.
אין, לא היינו בלי אבותינו, רוצים ללמוד את הנוקות שלנו ומצוותיך, ואתם כאילו בלי תורתך, וסבי לא מצוותיך, וסבי לא מצוותיך, אז מתאר לבינו לעובדיך באמת. ואין כאילו לא בלי אלוהינו, ברוך השם, קודשך, ואין הוא ישראל מקדשי שמך, ברוך אתה ה' מקדש השבת, רצה ה' אלוהינו, ואין כאילו, ישראל בתפילתה באהבה תקבל, בתהילה רצון תמיד, עבודה ישראל, עמך, אל קרוב לכל קורף, פונה אל עבדיך, ואמנו. At the end of the Tfilat Amida, we add one more prayer. We think of all those that are dealing with illness. We pray for their speedy recovery and their complete healing for the Refua Shlema. We hope that you are at home and you have the ability to bring the names of, the, of those that you are are asking for their recovery. And please join us in Mishavirach. us, to all of them, Refua Shlema, Vechlema, Meira, Efat, and complete recovery. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We now take a moment to acknowledge mourners among our community. And we know that each of us remember different people. And, and with this idea that we are trying to create a virtual community, one of the things that are complicated, or right now we are struggling with, is with the ability to acknowledge in real time those people that you are thinking about. But please don't let that stop you from saying those names, from saying them out loud, not just thinking of them, just say them. So I would invite you to just to say 
the names of the people that you are thinking about as we go into Kaddish. We will wait for a moment, and then we will recite all those that need to recite Kaddish. We will recite Kaddish together. But now, take a moment and say the names of those that you are thinking about. יתקדל בית קדש שמרבה. אמן. באלמה דברה חילותה בימליך מלכותה. בחייכון וביומכון ובחיי דכל בית ישראל בעגלה ובזמן קריב באמרו אמן. אמן. יאה שמר רבה מבורך לעולם עולמי עלמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא. ויתהדר ויתעלה ויתהלל שמת הקודשה בריחו. לעילה מן כל ברכתה ושירתה. תושבחתה ונחמתה. דא אמירם בעלמה, ואמרו אמן. יש לה מרבה מן שמיה, וחיים טובים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ועל כל יושבי תבל, ואמרו אמן. May the memories of your dear ones be a living blessing in your life. יהיה זכרם ברוך. We now are going to get ready for Kiddush. So if you have a cup with wine at home and you haven't done Kiddush yet, this is the moment to raise uh, your cup uh, with us. And uh, we are going to be singing as we do that, Shalom Alechem, that in the normal series on page 142. And in, we are going to be placing also the page number uh, as, we, uh, as, we, as I am speaking right now, you will see the page number. Shalom Aleichem Malachim Yashareim Malachim the sacredness and we declare the sacredness of this day we go all the way back to the creation of the world we occupy ourselves during Shabbat with the creation of the world we transition as Abraham Joshua Heschel said from the work from the work of creation into the creation of the world we become parts and partners of that creation 
ויהי ערב, ויהי בוקר, יום השישי, ויחו לשמיים בארץ וכל צבעם, ויחל אלוהים ביום השביעי, מלאכתו אשר עשה, וישבות ביום השביעי, מכל מלאכתו אשר עשה, ויברך אלוהים את יום השביעי, ויקדש אותו, יבוא שבת מכל מלאכתו, אשר ברא אלוהים לעשות. אני אגיד לך סברי, תפיד אף תמיד, כמובן, אתה יכול לעשות. סברי. סברי. חבריי, חבריי, וחברותיי, וחברותיי. And those that are home will say, and in this case, me and Alvin, we want to say, לחיים, let's say, one, two, three, לחיים, and you go. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך עולם, בורא פרי הגפן. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך עולם. אשר קידשנו במצוותיו ורצה בנו בשבת קודשו באהבה וברצון הנחילנו זיכרון למעשה וראשית כי הוא יום תחילה למקראי קודש זכר לציות מצרים כי בנו Shabbat Shalom. Now, wherever you are standing, if you have people standing next to you uh, and you are in quarantine together, so you probably can embrace each other. And if you don't have anyone, so I hope that you feel our presence embracing you and our presence being with you. We have here activity, the tradition of connecting with each other at the very end of our service. And so we do right now, even when we don't have the physical ability to do that. We have the spiritual ability to connect with each other. As we connect all the way back with the millennia-old words of our tradition, with the love of generations that we received from our parents and grandparents, and that we pray to repeat, to transfer, to transmit to our children. We think about our creations, and we ask God to inspire to be like the parents of Israel. We say, Yasimchem, Elohim, שרה רבקה רחל ולאה, ישמכם אלוהים כפריים וכבן השם. And for all of them we say together. May God bless you and protect you. Thank 
Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom.